pretty well. Like Wolf can cover matches like that that are bad for Fox. Like Falco can cover matches that are bad for Wolf, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, it's a nice little triangle to have. The only thing they all have is a bit of a susceptible recovery, but I think Wolf's is probably the best out of the mm. three. Then it may be Falco's, then Fox's. Well, let's so, see how these go. How this goes down. Yeah, this will be interesting. Larry in the past has just said that he doesn't really do that well against zoning characters because he just goes against how he wants to play, like very aggressive or rush you down, push his advantage to the fullest. But in spite of that, he's really found a way to do well against uh, against Rido in mm -hmm. the past. Right. And if you look at Rido, he actually has his notebook out full of notes. I bet he still has some information there from uh, <laughs> when Larry and Rido used to go back and forth. Right. <laughs> it's like, let me pull out my notebook, look up my data on Larry real quick, and see if uh, I'm going into this match completely prepared. Mm -hmm. But Larry is actually starting out the Falco. Falco yep. duck hunt. Let's you mean, see how this you one mean, works you mean up tilt back air the game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cutscene character. Yep. Cutscene combos. Let's see if he can able he's able to pull them off. I really want to see how the shine's gonna play a factor in this set as well. Mm -hmm. But seeing as uh, you know all the projectiles come out. There it is already. I think if uh, Falco shines the can, it goes under like his control, so like it can blow up on a Rido. Oh, even sniping with the laser, okay. Okay, looking like a uh, looking like melee Falco with all these lasers right now so far. Let's see though, Rido's pretty much a solo duck hunt main, so he's play pretty much played every type of matchup with his character, mm -hmm. even characters that have like reflector properties. Right I now, think, uh, ninety-six percent already racked up. Sorry, one hundred and seven percent only taking ten. Rido just passively getting in Larry to kill percent here while he's just hanging back. Mm -hmm. The I don't I don't think the shine plan that. Larry had in mind is quite working out so far, but there we go. Finally putting him off stage. Got himself an opportunity, and I think that's what he was looking for, the shine to be able to put the can away so they could still continue an edge guard yeah. sequence. Okay. Rhino's still in a really good spot here, though. I feel like Larry is, like, playing a little bit too passively, trying to reflect things, and that's letting, letting Rhino set up. But down tilt forward air, almost being enough to kill. Is a laser snipe not able to get the forward air? Let's trump back air. Nice reaction from Larry. Immediately seeing him fall, uh, fall backwards from the ledge and getting the back air out. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so he found the right opportunity. Uh, this is what I thought at the edge guard sequence, and he was able to close out the stock. Yeah, I, I guess Larry still doesn't have any qualms with just hanging back on the projectiles. I kind of like it just because it gives Rado more opportunity to set up, but if he's playing safe enough, he can reflect the things that might hit him anyway. So Yeah. Ooh, great can snipe on the side B. I think he like side B directly into it there. Mm -hmm. I don't think there wasn't much that he could have done because if he side B, then he's dead. And yeah. then if he up B, then Rido can react to it and he's dead. So. Yeah, that's just the nature of playing the space animals in this game. Very mm -hmm. successful recovery. Yep. All right, gets a jab in. Maybe Wolf like the least successful of the three. Yeah, Especially just because of how big the hitboxes are. But anyways, here we go. Gets hit by Gunman. Rido being a little bit more conservative on how he uses the cannon to set up, though. There we go. Able to go for the edge guard sequence. Okay. Get some back here outside. Setting the can up at the ledge. Got to be really careful in this situation. Yeah, Rido's trying to get the cover. The neutral get up with the episode. But there's the up throw up air. That killed? <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember in Smash 4, it like, never kills? It was like, dang. We imagine that killed? I don't know. Wait, it kills yeah, in this game. I, I wow. know it kills eventually at high percent. And it can also... Uh, <laughs> it can also um, catch people with DIing badly. Mm -hmm. Maybe he DI like up or in there. All right, high recovery. Oh, Raito actually doesn't catch it. Oh, Larry's got another Look opportunity on the stage. To his shield, he, that shine did. Yeah. This is actually really good for Larry right now. Trying to creep up on him with the grab though. Raito sends him out. But again, the shine is neutralizing all these projectile setups. It's really working out well in Larry's favor right here. Mm hmm. I see it. Oh, oh, he just I stares the can. He blows up anyway. Oh, man. Oh, I, I like the idea from Larry. I definitely appreciate yeah, I it. I definitely like that. Still in a really good spot here. Duck Hunt very close to dying. Fuggle is a very strong character, especially if he gets a forward off stage or a back air. Yeah, he's, he's looking for that up tilt. Yeah. Up tilt to back air. Uh, up tilt <laughs> back air, one of his best kill confirms he has. It jumps over the projectiles, too. I think that's also good, too. Fuggle's double jump is super high, so he can actually just jump and get like around the projectiles really well. Yeah. Here we go. He's trying to figure out his way in. I feel like he's just kind of fishing for up tilt at this point. Yeah, he's trying to approach with up tilt, Ooh. not quite getting it, and Raito's playing around it very smartly. Slowly okay. tacking on the damage onto Larry. Nice. Again, he just shoots the gunman right back in his face with the shine. Nice. Runs up on him with the grab. Kind of trying to retreat, but Larry chasing him with the forward air. Oh, barely Almost gets around it. it. How's he get back in? 
Yeah, Larry's just playing very carefully, not trying to give him any free opportunities for a punish, but that was an unsafe for on shield. Rattle got the can set up. No, but the shine coming in clutch. Let's him get back some stage control. Yeah, Spikes look like it out of his face. Ooh, the can blows up in his face, dude. Raito finally getting a piece of his own medicine right yeah. there. Actually, it works out just fine. And I think a lot of what also was that just Falco has that large jump height. Right. So he's able to navigate in the air a lot faster and uh, makes it hard for Raito to react with where he should place the can because he can navigate the air so quickly. Yep. I mean, he prefers the air for a reason, so. Yeah, Falco looking like the move for Larry right now. Let's see how Raito's going to adapt, though. Again, like these guys have so many close sets in the previous game, Smash 4. I wouldn't be surprised to see this go to another game five. Mm -hmm. Town and city. I think this is a little bit more room for Rido to try to position the can setups, and then maybe the platforms will slow Larry down in the air if he tries to jump over them. But uh, right now, the platform's just helping Larry out, extend all these combos. Already yep. at 70%. Nice falling there into the up tilt. No up tilt back here, but still no percent on Larry until then. It's a really good 82% uh, string, though. Mm -hmm. That's a part of what makes Falco pretty solid. Like, he might not have, like, the best neutral, but his punish game is that of a high tier character for sure. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Sharpshooter Larry blows up the can right in his face with the laser. Oh, the Nair comes in. I wonder if Ryo's going to try to mix up the way he approaches. Oh, double clay prison. No back air, though, but continuing with the forward air. Yeah, reads oh. out the air dodge. Frame oh. trap comes in. Oh, neither of them get an up smash that they want. Yeah, it's a little bit of a scramble situation up close. There's a the gunman. Nope, just shines it back in space, but uses the opportunity to punish the shine with the forward air. Rattle's trying to mix up his approaches really well. Double shine, or sorry, double laser. Forward air is a can away. Okay, oh. I appreciate the attempt. He just forward aired the wrong thing, but yeah. still working out just fine. Both of these two, it's going to be a matter of who gets the kill first. It looks like Larry's trying to find it first. He's got the oh, positioning. Went almost. for the down tilt, but not yeah, quite. Down tilt's very strong. He'd definitely kill if he gets his uh, right position on that. Yep, back into oh. its melee days. Oh, he F tilts the can right in Larry's face. Rido's just so slippery. Mm -hmm. It goes for the up throw. Trying to find a way to land with the cans right next to Larry. Smart forward throw for Larry to get some position on the stage. Oh, the late hit of the Nair beats out Larry's back there attempt. And the down tilt clanking with the clay pigeon. Larry's trying to find the stock. Not taking too much percent, but he needs to do it real fast. Yeah. Before uh, Duck Hunt gets set up on the stage. He literally just needs like one good hit on R Rido, then he'll be able to close it out. But it's a matter of Rido letting him get that. You can see he's zoning out just fine with those fares. Dash tag almost did it too. Maybe the next one will be able to do it. Oh, very trying to find an opportunity to down tilt. He's just throwing it out, but there's the last hit of fair, just enough. <laughs> yeah, barely made it around. Not Didn't take out too much percent either because of that. Oh, the clay pigeon chasing them down. There's the forward air. Oh. I was so scared of that. Yeah. I, thought, I thought he was just going to get blown away. Alrighty, there we go. Cutscene. Nice. 53%. Big damage. And that trade's definitely in Larry's favor. But the wow, the laser actually doesn't stop the clay pigeon. Interesting. Yeah. But he's able to get the shine out just in time, too. Okay. Down throw up there. Oh my goodness, almost dying off the top. Yeah, with the can, too. It kind of like messed up the whole camera. <laughs> Zooming all over the place. Uh oh. Larry in a really bad spot with the can now. Oh, watch out. It <laughs> came backwards. Hit him from behind. That angle is so good from Rido, dude. Crazy. Yeah, I thought he almost had it. Now we have a stock lead here for Rido. Not necessarily in kill percent just yet. Larry's going to have to work a little bit to get this kill. Yeah. Parries the forward air. Oh, no up tilt back air, though. Yeah, oh, the quite. clay pigeon last hit interrupted the grab. Couldn't get a back throw out. And now the up tilt up air catching all these uh, defensive options from Larry. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. The setups right now from Rido. The gunman into the can. Oh, my goodness. Everything's working out in his favor right now. Even that trade right there from the near, from the up tilt. Yeah, just any type of damage that Larry tacks on is just another victory for Rido at this point. Because he's got to figure out the kill first and go back to a last stock situation before he can worry about it one more time. Because Falcon can easily oh, make up the damage, goodness. but it's about closing that stock. That's the hard part about this matchup so far. Yeah, and Rido just sees that how desperate Larry is for the kill and just weaving in and out, getting all the hits he wants. Yeah. Nice. Up there to catch the double jump. Two stock for Rido right there. there it Definitely is. looked like Larry was getting a little bit too hungry for the kill. Great adaptation there from Rido. A brilliant counter pick, honestly. Mm -hmm. Really worked in his favor. All right, let's see. Will he switch to a wolf or fox, or will he stick with the Falco? That's the main question here. Was it the stage? Was it the character? Was it Rido? 
Lots of questions to be answered here. I think Wolf is a pretty good pick in this matchup, but uh, I don't know. He's, he's the most comfortable with Falco, it seems. Mm -hmm. And he did get that first game, so he's going to rely on a different stage to make his uh, life a little bit easier here. Yep. He didn't ban the stage that he won on, and we do have DS. We have, do have no DSR, so right. if Larry thinks that he can win this game on Pokemon CM, then he probably has a big, good shot at it. Already starting off with a combo. Only 16%. Kind of drops it there. Had nice. the opportunity with the Nairs, but not quite. Yeah, Ryo's going in, though. Really good combos. Extending it with the Nair to punch the air dodge. Yeah, even without the projectiles, Rhydo's, like use of his normals is also top class, too. Yeah. This is a very well-rounded character, or player, I mean. But, wow, triple clay pigeon into the upper. That's huge for Rhydo. 121%. Yeah, Larry yet oh, to really goodness. start anything on this game so far. But there we go. Finally going to get those up air strings into the Nair. Put them off stage. And oh, get the fair. The oh, frame one can. I haven't it, seen that in a while. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that. Uh, that was like Snake right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that actually worked perfectly in Ryo's favor because Larry was starting to get some really good opportunities to edge guard him with the forward air, but got blown back before he could do anything. Mm -hmm. And we already saw Ryo was able to do with the stock lead. He made it very difficult for Larry to get the kill. Running into all these projectiles now, Ryo's favor, really good for him right now. Yep. Okay, sneaks in the forward air. Gets the laser snipe. No shine on the recovery, but the down tilt caught the ledge jump. Clean stuff. Killed yeah. really early for Larry. Very nice stuff so far. Let's see if uh, the lead starts to steamroll Ooh. in Raido's favor, though, because that's definitely what happened in the last game, too. Nice. They were both on a two-stock scenario, but Raido had a slight percent lead and actually kept increasing it. So Let's see here. Okay, nice. Port airs him back into the bad spot. Oh, my goodness. Great tech on the canvas. Still 115. Larry... Starting to struggle to find his, uh, navigate his way around these projectiles. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Ryle controlling the center of the stage with all his setups. Larry just wants to find a way in to get like these up throw, up air combos, but it's just looking really rough right now. Mm -hmm. And this is the same exact same scenario that we saw in Town and City earlier. But here we go. I mean, if he can get a potential edge guard, you saw he was, was kind of looking oh, for it. Oh, down air whiffs, yeah. Downer is so good versus Duck Hunt's recovery just because he doesn't have a hitbox. The only thing he can really do is throw out a cannon to try to throw you off. But if he doesn't have that, Larry can actually go really deep off stage to Edgar. Mm -hmm. But he has to take advantage of when he has that opportunity. Otherwise, he's going to end up in this situation again. Oh, just he's waiting for a dash attack. A little bit too greedy. The can oh, kind of going oh a little bit goodness. too far away, yeah. I'm surprised, you know, honestly, even with the balloon knockback, how consistently Raido is able to get can setups, but at those high percents, looks like it's a little bit harder just because the can doesn't move quite as fast enough for that. All right, up throw back here. Oh, got to watch the can. He <laughs> dropped shield at the last second and just gets blown up by it. I think he really, really wanted to parry that to be able to get an opportunity, but just did not quite find it. Oh, man, he's got to hold the jab now, too. Raido's about to lap him in percent. He does, and catches the landing with the F smash. Really far off stage now. Working on the two stock potentially. Larry's getting frustrated trying to find a way in. Taking all his extra damage. Rido very close to moving up 2 1 in the set right now. Yeah, I think now we're probably expecting a character switch unless Larry can clutch it out. But it doesn't look like it's going to quite happen like that. Finally going to get that fair. There's the can again. Larry trying to find a way to approach, but every time he thinks he can get comfortable and try to throw him off guard, the can's right there to save Rido, man. Mm -hmm. The shield damage with the projectiles. Oh. Terrible trade for Larry, man. Just starts an up tilt and gets blown up. So now even his up tilt back air confirms aren't safe with the cans next to him. Yeah. This is down throw. Oh my goodness, there it is again. I mean, he <laughs> took him the last stock, but. <laughs> oh my gosh, the can is just right old savior, dude. Yeah. Every time Larry thinks he's in a spot to get an edge guard, boom, the can's right in his face. Yeah. That's two times that he thought he would get a forward air snipe and just gets blown up. Not so quite going to work up this time. Let's see if he's switch. Yeah, there we go. Fox Switching to here. Fox. Yeah. I didn't know Larry played Fox. Yeah. Uh, dude, <laughs> I'm, we, come I, on. I, I, I'm kidding. I'm, like I, a, I'm, I'm memeing on you, okay? <laughs> I know it's his least used out of all the space salmon wolves that he plays, but his Fox is still really solid. No, no way you should sleep on him. Yeah. I think he wants the Fox because Fox can uh, move a little bit faster to get around mm -hmm. the cans. Also has a shine of his own. And uh, he can kill. He has a little bit more uh, kill setups that he can go for. Oh, we'll, we'll have see. to see. Yeah, he's, he has the speed to at least get past the gunman. So right. that, that's, that's already an added bonus, but we'll have to see. He hasn't really gotten in a setup yet, but there we go. Finally the first jab, but no dash attack oh. to follow up. Oh, my goodness. Is that it? Oh, my God. Clay Pigeon into F-Smash? 
I didn't even know that was a setup. Yeah, that's uh, pretty rough right there. He dies so early. I know Fox dies off the side uh, really early, but dang, that was crazy from Rido. Mm -hmm. He didn't I feel even let Larry get started. He immediately mm -hmm. gets the stock lead. I feel like even though Fox has the speed, yeah, that's what I was oh, thinking. God. I think that Fox is just a little bit too linear on how he approaches on the ground, and his aerial approaches aren't as great as Falco's, I believe. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, and Raito, it's much easier hit for him to either shield an air or to shield a oh, dash look attack. Look at him playing so patient at the ledge. Like having the can of cover roll and then waiting, so good for Raito. Nice. Only waited it out on the shield again. Yeah, Raito's playing super well. He's playing so confident, too. But there's the up smash trade. Uh, Ryder will eat that all day, dude. Even if he drops the stock, Larry's already at kill percent. Mm -hmm. Now Three. we got another grab already. And down just throw down throw up air. Here. So good. Didn't Damn. even get a chance to get any percent. He's already up a stock now. Yeah, that's kind of rough for Larry. I, I wonder if in his head, Raito was like, yes, he switched the fox. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me blow up this character right now. There we go. Finally putting him off stage. Got an opportunity here. This is where Larry has to ledge trap. Oh my gosh, another can trade for Larry. Just not what he needs right now. Mm -hmm. Tech Chase for Rido gets the gunman out. There's the can and the clay pigeon. Oh my goodness, so safe. Okay, throws him in the air. Rido again making his recovery safe with the can. Oh, covers the jump with the back air. Now how is he going to get back? There it is, the can, so safe. Yeah, he can't edge guard the same way that he was with Falco too because of the way uh, Fox is such oh. a fast faller. So definitely a little bit more rough for Fox in that category as well. Yeah, when he got that parry, I'm surprised he didn't go for a parry up smash. He did a jab instead. But oh my goodness, the can knocked him off the ledge. Yeah, it was just like the, the can hitbox itself. No explosion actually triggered. Here we go. Another opportunity. Barely makes it to the ledge, actually. All right, oh. Super close and moving on. But there's the up smash. 106. Larry's going to have to dig deep to bring this comeback back. Yeah, there's no fair footstool to be able to clutch it out. Like in oh, my oh goodness. no, it that's just it. Dies immediately. Back throw into the can. 3 1, right, oh. So clean with the duck hunt. Falco's just too light, man. Sometimes it's just not going to work out the way you want it to. So, yeah. still